Uh, my name is Laura Keith Alford, and this is my story of my experience with the Drew Lewis Foundation. Um, there were all kinds of obstacles. Um, I was trying to go back to school um, to get my bachelor's degree to, you know, be able to make my life a little bit better for me and my kids. Um, and then there were some obstacles with me and my wife being able to find housing. Um, there was quite a few. Just those are a couple. <laughs> Yes, actually, finding housing was a really difficult situation. Um, I didn't expect to find that in Springfield, but it was. Um, we had quite a few landlords when they found out that we were actually a couple and not just roommates or friends deny us housing because of our LGBTQI status. Um, I actually was going to MSU, um, trying to achieve my bachelor's degree, and um, we came across service learning in one of our classes, and I was referred to visit with Amy Blancett. Um, and so that's when I learned about the Drew Lewis Foundation. I came as a volunteer. Um, then when my volunteering time was over, I took an internship, um, did internship for a year. Um, and then Amy approached me and my wife and asked if we would like to be a part of the Northwest Project. Well, you know, sometimes life doesn't always give you the path you want and it ends up being full of obstacles. Um, and Amy and everybody here at the Drew Lewis Foundation were very supportive um, and they worked really hard with us to get us over some of those obstacles. A lot of the obstacles I ran into were funding for school because I am an older student. Um, it did take me a little bit longer than a normal student would. Um, so I ran into funding issues. They helped with that. Um, they've helped us with budgeting, um, which now our credit score is up to a 641 and when we started it was a 345. So that is a huge impact on our family. Definitely do it. Um, it's a lot of hard work, I'm not gonna lie. It's not the easiest sometimes, but it's so beneficial on the other end. Um, we've been part of the Drew Lewis Foundation since, since 2016. We've been part of the Northwest Project. Um, I think it was 2018 when Amy asked me to be a part of it. So when we started this, our income level was well below the 100% poverty line. We were uh, making about 29,000 for a family of five. Um, and now I actually am waiting on an opportunity to be able to put us over the 200% mark if I get the job I'm waiting for. Um, and that's all because of the hard work that we've put in with the RISE program to, to get us this far.